Welcome back to our second video to identify three-dimensional shapes. We've already learned about prisms and pyramids. In prisms and pyramids, our base could be any shape. Now we move to shapes involving circles. When we have two parallel bases that are circles, we have a cylinder. Your bases must be the same size, and the side is actually one curved rectangle. If we only have one circle as the base, that would form a cone. In a cone, um, the side is curved, but it comes to a point at the top or across from the circle. A sphere is a three-dimensional shape where every point is the same distance from the center. It has one curved face. Let's go ahead and name some of these 3D shapes. In shape A, I notice that all the sides are rectangles. And also, I can see that they don't come to a point. Um, I have bases that are parallel. So that is a prism. Since all the sides in A appear to be similar, I can actually give that a special name. That's a cube. B looks like a can. Um, my top and bottom are circles. So when I have circular bases, two of them, that's a cylinder. Sh shape C um, looks like a ball, a globe. Um, I have that one curved face. C is a sphere. In D, I see a base that is a circle. There is only one of them. And then I see that the curved sides meet at a point. That's a cone. E also only has one base. Um, the sides come to a point, um, but all those sides are triangles. That makes it a pyramid. And finally, F. F has these hexagons on the top, and then there'd be one on the bottom. All the sides are rectangles, so that means it's a kind of a box or a prism. Um, remember, though, A was also a prism. So what makes them different? It's the shape of their base. So here I can see that my top has six sides. That's a hexagon. And our 3D shape is a hexagonal prism.